Here's the 11th race, a wide open field, and the mayor pace could be a heck of a shootout. Burning Point and Bunny Lake have both won crowns. Richest pacing mayor in history, Eternal Cam Nation, trying to become the first pacer ever to win four. At the Rob, loyal opposition leaving and Eternal Cam Nation flashing some speed there from the inside. Burning Point with her usual early foot. Towards the inside comes Sure Sign around the first turn. Loyal opposition headstrong early and Brennan obliges and takes over. Burning Point second, Eternal Cam Nation into it early third. It's a Sure Sign fourth to the opening quarter. Always Cam fifth on the outside. My Fantasy is sixth. From the second tier, Bunny Lake is seventh and trying to go up there. Then it's Jasper Avenue. Near the back is Odds On Charmaine followed by Animated Art and Carolina Sunshine, 27-1, first marker, Eternal Cam Nation, three-time crown champion leading the way. Here comes Pierce with Burning Point and Ledford's got Eternal Cam Nation fired up tonight. Might be parking out Burning Point here. Speed duel up front, loyal opposition right there, enjoying it in third. Gap at 2-3 to Sure Sign, fourth, followed by Always Cam, fifth, Bunny Lake is sixth. Jasper Avenue going up seventh, and it's My Fantasy, followed by Odds On, Charmaine, Animated Art near the back with with uh, Carolina Sunshine, the half, amazing, 52 and four-fifths, and Pierce cleared with Bunny on the inside, Burning Point. Burning Point leads the way by three-quarters of length, and here comes a loyal opposition applying immediate pressure. Burning Point, loyal opposition, fresh and hot, pouncing on her with Brennan. Eternal Cam Nation is right there, and lurking is Sure Sign. Sure Sign working out second over. Always Cam and Miller has pace there. Bunny Lake trying to rally. Odds on Charmaine is widest of all. One, 20, and and three, an amazing torrid clip here, and loyal opposition, game first over, takes the lead, but slingshotting off cover, here comes Always Cam and Dave Miller, Always Cam looking to draw a clear, Bunny Lake rallies for second, then it's loyal opposition, Always Cam, Always Cam at 20-1, to 1. it's Miller. Another upset, a mare pace stakes record, eclipsing the mark set by Jay's table in 1998. This daughter of Western Hanover is a former Jughead winner who today captures her 22nd career win in 59 starts. This is David Miller's fifth Breeders' Crown Triumph. And for the Cameron family, it continues the legacy of the late Wilfred Pete Cameron, a Meadows mainstay for many years. Yeah, she, she really hasn't been the luckiest horse, well, for me anyways, and uh, she's gotten a lot stronger, you know, matured a lot, and uh, I, I figured with the big field I'd, I'd be out the whole way and uh, end up being a lot closer, and uh, Wendy, she had her in perfect shape tonight. Past the quarter, you were fifth on the outside. It looks like you were stalling, but then I looked up and they were going 25 and three second quarter. Well, I just wanted to make sure I didn't get left first over. I wanted to make sure there was somebody in front of me the whole way. I mean, uh, I figured that would be our best shot was just to follow cover up on the outside, and it worked out. She had a great two and three year old year, and last year she just had a lot of tough starts, tremendous horses that she's raced against. This year she started the year off sick. She's never been sick before, and we had just a little bit of a tough time getting her started. Decided to skip two legs of the classic series, and then she came back. And she's just struggled a little bit with, it, with her health the first beginning, but for the last three weeks she's felt very strong, and we worked hard last week to keep her at the meadows, uh, keep her in the field a good bit, and felt she was ready for tonight. And, and David did a great job with her.